This podcast is brought to you by Kiwi Design. Kiwi is the leader in Oculus Quest and VR accessories. And now you can deck out your device while supporting the podcast. The Oculus Quest 2 is a great headset, but do you ever find things could be a bit more comfortable, maybe a little safer? Well, we have the solution for you. With lens protectors, controller grips, face covers, head straps, link cables, headset stands, and so much more. And let's be real. We've all whacked our controller. You don't want to be that guy messaging Oculus support for your own mistake or waiting weeks for an out-of-stock controller. Visit the link in our show notes now to prepare yourself today. And you don't need to sacrifice comfort for cost either. Kiwi is constantly running promotions of 20, 25, and even 30% off. Just visit the link in our show notes and use the promo code on their website to take full advantage of your savings. And be sure to follow the link in our show notes so we get credit and you help support the podcast. And remember... Kiwi has you covered for all your VR needs. Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Rough Talk VR. Today we're joined with Katya and Krill of DOVR. Yeah, uh, this is going to be a good one. Yeah, a video player on the, uh, I should say the MetaQuest, I almost said Oculus Quest, but mm-hmm. uh, Katya and Krill, do you mind uh, to tell our listeners about both yourself and you know what exactly the app DOVR is? Sure. Uh, my name is Katya and uh, I'm in charge of business development and marketing at DOVR. Uh, DOVR is a streaming platform, so basically what we do is we stream um, videos, VR videos, 180 and 360 videos for the VR community. Uh, We are a very unique player because we've been on the market for approximately eight years. So we started very, very early with the first wave of VR developers and with the very, very first uh, VR headsets that were available on the market. Uh, So there is, we are a technological company, so there is a lot of uh, a lot going on in the background. Our developers uh, always work on um, introducing better quality, better immersive uh, quality for the videos and for the playback. Uh, so yeah, this is, uh, we're actually just starting as a streaming platform because we've been a player for quite a long time. Uh, and now we are trying to break in uh, into streaming services as well. Hey guys. Hey, yeah, my name is Kirill and uh, I'm a product owner on Dell VR. And uh, I agree with all stuff which Katya said just now, but I want to add that we are kind of bridge for people who want to join VR kind of video, video industry because it's quite a lot of time the VR video was uh, not so popular. And right now, when when we launched the Dell VR streaming platform, we kind of mix between the YouTube and Oculus TV. So we open for everyone who want to shot VR video, who want to the narrative production in VR, you know, documentaries, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, we also video player, and uh, we I think we're one of the best on the market right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. What I mean, you said you you guys eight years ago this all started. Um, it's always a risk when people try to take on to the VR market because it's so new, even though VR in itself has been around for a long time, but now it's starting to get that, you know, I call it like just on the cusp of mainstream. So it's, to me, it's always like a, a huge risk to see a development company say, you know what, let's go feet first into the VR market. What made you guys see the light on VR? I mean, is it the, the futures of it? Cause you're definitely one of the first to like jump in as far as the video players. And uh, we're still on the market. I believe that many players or many platforms, uh, and they've started a while ago, they actually didn't succeed. So our platform is pretty successful. I think it's down to our CEO. He's very passionate about VR. Uh, he lives by VR. He just, he, he breathes by VR. <laughs> he loves it so much. And I think right now we are in a good um We have a good position on the market uh, and right now with uh, Facebook uh, pushing Oculus and they're actually promoting a lot of creators and there is a lot of publicity for VR. There is a lot of, um, there is a lot on the news. People are becoming more and more aware of of VR. I think we're, we're in a very good um, market right now to just to, you know, to expand and to grow because let's say eight years ago, 
great. Uh, the headset, the VR headset, was almost uh, impossible to uh, to to buy. Like my husband was one of the first who bought a VR headset eight years ago, but he had to buy a computer. So he had to build a computer that was five thousand dollars or something, and then he had a headset, and it didn't even work that well. So it was. Um, in terms of money, it was really hard to access. It was, you know, it was an expensive device. Right now, you can get it for three hundred bucks. So we believe that the market is expanding, and there is, um, we are well positioned in the market right now, and it's a good time for VR. So eight years ago was it was a bit too early for some companies to start, and they failed. Um, right now is a good time because there are cheap headsets available. And uh, I think there are more and more creators coming to the VR market or some creators, uh, well, they tried shooting videos in VR. They tried to develop in VR eight years ago. They kind of seven, five years ago, they gave up, but now we see them coming back and they get in touch with us. They want to work with us. They want to shoot more videos and they want to work on VR because this is an exciting time for VR. Well, that, yeah, right now it's the best timeline. It's the best timeline I could say. And uh, because we have that experience, like eight years experience with the VR streaming, all that kind of stuff. Right now we can like launch the new VR streaming platform. And, uh, yeah. I'm always so amazed with the, I topic. mean, you, you people are the ones who are part of the group that's laying that foundation that will be built upon to only get things better and better to the next level. And um, yours is available on every headset as well, not just restricted to Oculus, correct? Not at all. That's... We right now work on Pico headset, but most like, you know, if you can go to this, through the stream, so we're available through the stream and we available for direct uh, upload through the Oculus. Oculus. Mm -hmm. Quest store, Meta Quest store, yeah. Yeah, I'm still getting used to it too. I, well, I, that's I, right. Yeah. As a as an Oculus user, I'm I'm always happy when people are like, "No, it's on Oculus." So, yeah. a side I, note: if it's on someone <laughs> else's, you know, good for them. But as long as it's on the Oculus, I mean Meta, then I'm I'm pretty content. Yeah, and, and what's yeah. it been like for you guys in terms of you know once you, you mentioned so many people wanted to get into VR but they couldn't. That was kind of our story with uh you know not being able to get a, a huge game, gaming PC or anything like that. The Quest drops, mm -hmm. you know, and now we have a podcast about VR. That's the way it goes. So it introduced a whole new market of people to virtual reality. Uh, what's that been like on your guys' end since the Quest has dropped? Have you seen, you know, a lot more people using Dio since, you know, we got standalone VR? We're getting, uh, yes, our, our user base is expanding every month. So we're getting more and more users, uh, VR users on our platform. Uh, I think one of the reasons why is because, as you said, we support different headsets. So it's not just Oculus. If you don't have Oculus, if you buy another headset, there, is, there are not that many places you can go to and you can stream videos, for example. So right now we're adding Pico. To our platform if there is a new headset comes on the market we'll we'll, we'll 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 jump on the opportunity we'll start working uh on adding that headset as well so our plan is to be uh more than just oculus tv because oculus tv is only for oculus users we want to be a streaming platform kind of like netflix but for vr users um and we want to support as many headsets as we can so that if you have a headset you can just you know, have, have it on and that's it and it's going to work. And uh, our quality is actually, our quality is really good. We're working on um, improving the quality, the immersive quality of our player all the time. So hopefully we will be even better than Oculus TV in the future. Well, we'll see, but this is the plan. No, that's awesome. The goal to become the, the premier video player, which I think you guys are. are nah, dude, I, I love, you know. I love watching videos like a well done video that's that the resolution's good and you're in VR and you're getting that experience. There's even animated ones. You know, I always go back and forth of uh, I think right now there's a lot more people willing to go full speed into animated. Whereas you mentioned, you know, seven, eight years ago, people did the, the more live action and now they went away. But now they're starting to come back uh, for you, for you guys, when you watch them, which which do you prefer to watch? Do you like animated more? Do you like? you know, those live action, real people videos? Um, I prefer documentaries. This is something that I, I really enjoy. So I like to watch documentaries and travel because I'm actually a traveler, but right now with COVID, uh, we, we can't really travel. 
as much. So this is a way, this is a way to travel for me. I'm not a gamer, although I know some people love gaming on Oculus TV, but I believe there is a group of people. So I think we are, uh, GeoVR will be more family friendly because some kids will not be playing uh, video games, right? Or um, uh, VR games. And uh, I think it's more of a, um, Video. So right now we're a video streaming platform and uh, there is a group of people who want to watch really good quality videos on the platform and uh, they don't buy the headset for gaming. So what, I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I prefer the commentary too, but I, I want to say that it's no good narrative content right now for, for, yes. for VR. So we're looking, for, I just want to add that we're looking to directors who can kind of shot the good narrative for us. So if you guys know someone, you can recommend to us. So we, we welcome, <laughs> we're welcome. Yeah, because yeah. the document, the documentary is so good. I, I watched that uh, 9-11 movie and uh, it was, I cannot say amazing, it's not good work, but it can kind of give me kind of feeling, you know, and understanding what's happening because I, I never see that, that building in my life, you know, and through VR, I can imagine the size of it, for example. Yeah, it's it's a kind of, it's a it's a great tool for documentary. It's a like it's so so immersive. Yeah, I do believe that animation is also great. This is something that you can immerse into animation, and you can see um, something that's really hard to imagine, and you are actually inside of like a magical forest or animated picture. This is something really, truly amazing. This is definitely the future of VR. But as Kirill said, yes, there is... Um, right now we're looking for the creators uh, who would like to um, collaborate with DOVR and uh, to shoot some um, and produce some short films uh, exclusively for DOVR. So if anybody is interested, please get in touch with us because we would really like to roll this out. So some exclusive content and uh, some really good documentaries, some really good short films, perhaps some sci-fi or action films, dark comedy. Um, we're looking for the creators. I think that's, I, and I'm with you with documentaries. My only problem mm -hmm. right now with documentaries and VR is like, if you ask me the name, the top three best ones it's like as far as the documentary goes that's going to give me that full experience i couldn't so it's like to know that the to know that there could be a, a well you know put together documentary that you could feel like you're there that's a little mm -hmm. next level especially yeah, I, with the amount of documentary content that's available to do yeah it feels like it almost seems like vr is made for documentaries oh, yeah. it's like you really want to get educated oh on yeah the subject. We, we did you know we saw a movie and animated movie in yep. vr and it was more it was actually a lot better than i thought it would be to see an animated anything in vr it, it was, was way easier to bring emotions out because yeah. you're there you're immersed so you, you get, get that, into it i think it's awesome yeah. I'm, I'm loving the direction you guys are going with the you know trying to push it up to the, how, can i ask how big the studio actually is um yes uh <laughs> we have a kind of good post-production because we kind of have some side project and uh, this post-production going to be moving to kind of DO originals. And uh, right now we have a, like a on state director of photography and a couple of producers who kind of looking to other creators. So to, you know, put it together. So we, we on the first step right now, if I could say right now, like this. This is exciting times. Oh yeah, definitely. This is wicked exciting mm -hmm. times. Um, I want to touch on something that people might not have known has changed since they made a, maybe tried it a while ago, but and left was, a one star review or yeah, there was a little brief, little <laughs> bump in the road involving, um, DLNA, which everyone should know is now back. So it's a, it's a fixed issue. And, but you want to touch on that? You don't have to go too deep on it, but just to let, reassure everybody that you did bring it back. And if they had tried it before and they're listening now, they'll they'll know that they can easily go back to it and be very satisfied. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it was, it, I agree. But reason for that is because the DNA support required a lot of people on our kind of tech department to be involved on this kind of, on this product. And uh, right now we have a lot, guys. We have to like uh, push our premium. Uh, we have uh, a lot of work 
through website, you know, all the original production there, you know, it's cost a lot of money and we still free player. So it was reason how we can, you know, save a little bit of money, but then we start looking to feedback and push it back because we, we first of all, we work for people. Yeah. For community, if community ask, we, you know, we, we, we try to do it, try to do our best. We, we didn't even know there was such a big demand for this function. So <laughs> it was a surprise. As once we saw so many comments, we were like, okay, we have to do something about it. So <laughs> I think we have a workaround uh, for, for this particular issue right now. So whoever uh, wants to use it right now, it's available. And um, hopefully we will be able to, able to sustain it and just keep it there for, for the users. No, nope. yeah, kudos, it. kudos mm-hmm. to you guys for mm-hmm. reversing that. And, and, you know, I, I will say the community in VR is very passionate, so mm-hmm. they're very quick to react when something doesn't work the way it should, or, um, it'll be the most vocal, but what is good and people should also know is that a handful of people who did re-go and try it and then realize it was fixed have adjusted their ratings. Yeah. So if you were one of the ones who once started because of that, it's it's fixed. You're yeah, good. Yeah, go back and change that. Because that, if you look at the the negative feedback or the one star reviews for the app, that's the only it's the only issue. That's the only one star complaint. And it's been fixed. So it's it's tragic that you know not all of these people have gone back and since changed it. Nope. But if anything, I mm-hmm. think that this is a a great example that that you as a company, at DL as a company, is willing to listen to user feedback and mm-hmm. make the changes and say, hey, look, okay, whoa, well, you, you guys didn't like that. <laughs> obviously let's, let's go back and fix it so it's like people shouldn't <laughs> abandon this and say oh my god they they dropped dlna and now i'm i'm gone it's like look they like you said they you, you adjusted you listen to people so anybody who like like strata said who who used it they dropped a one-star review you know definitely go back and give it another go yeah that was the only complaint mm-hmm. that yes. people had yes. so <laughs> to me it's like any and not everyone reads reviews that's a sad thing they just yeah. look at that mm, the, yeah the bottom uh, line but if you read them you'll figure it out real quick. But yeah, if you read the one stars, you'll figure out, you know, that only complaint has been fixed. That was mm-hmm. the only issue people ever had. So, and then you go to the newest reviews and it's, Dude, people I'm still saying, psyched hey, about back. the potential for really good documentaries. I keep, my brain keeps honing back to that because it's limitless, <laughs> limitless potential of what you could really get yeah. in, especially when, and again, we're on that weird virgin cusp of things. So when like directors do start stepping up and saying, Hey, you know, this is a, a platform that I can pull people in a lot better than watching on a TV or even in a theater. So this is exciting. Yeah. Big times coming. So mm-hmm. is there anything upcoming for Dio uh, that you guys can talk about? I know you mentioned that you're going to be rolling out this streaming platform or like, you know, the streaming element. Uh, are you able to talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, uh, sure. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, we have a, in a deep development, we have a depth maps feature. So uh, right now, if you kind of upload video through the DVR, you have option, for example, for inter- free kind of interpolation. So if you upload the 30 frame per second video, we can for free, if you ask us to interpolate this video to 60 frame per second. Also in the future, we're going to have kind of depth map creating. It's going to help you if you have uh, some video where objects go closer. So this cross effect effect. We can avoid this effect through the depth maps, and it's gonna burn in uh, depth map for each video in the future. It's like the biggest, biggest stuff we, which we're working right now. So it it sounds like the biggest challenge for, I'll say, any media player like this is really gonna come down to the content creators to really start making these videos and putting out content. Correct? Yes, yes. It's kind of first step for six deep six degree of freedom so because the the this kind of say same but work for for six degree of freedom so you build the depth map and then you just need a good ai to to build the kind of you know 3d object but the first step it's uh, it's a, the depth maps yeah so it's a big step for for all vr community we think so on the user end we simply just click get and get it and then we can watch videos and such but on the creator content end what would somebody like if somebody's listening they're like i didn't even know you could do videos in vr i i want in on this obviously there's going to be some sort of investment that's going to be needed from the content level but what is exactly needed to be able to make videos in vr i mean it seems like one could hear it and go oh my god that's going to be way too complicated i need 
big machinery and computers and uh right now it's i agree a bit because right now it's no kind of consumers cameras on the market it was uh in insta360 views vr so it's kind of cheap camera for 500 dollars which one you can shot the good vr like 180 or 360 so it's kind of you know it's a kind of transformer camera so 360 180 but right now the old camera a little bit expensive but if you want to join kind of professional vr market we totally open for you so if you can give us a little bit more quality we're going to pay you money for that so we, we build platform platform especially for it but uh kind of the good camera right now costs around three thousand dollars for one unit and the uh, unit just a regular editing machine so if you can edit 4k you can edit vr you know it's not kind of expensive every gaming pc or new mac with m1 processor can handle it easily this this is actually a perfect opportunity also for anybody who's thinking back like oh i wish i could have gotten in on youtube back when it came out you know like when it first came out it's like this is an opportunity to start at yeah, that, a whole new know, platform correct and and be yeah, able to it, see where you, that's yeah. that's pretty mind-blowing i mean and yes there would obviously be an initial investment but then again if more people are doing it then those investments should get a little shorter i would think I'm yeah intrigued. yeah it's a circle you're right it's circle if, if, we, if it's going to be a lot of more con vr content the, the camera the camera factory is gonna make new cameras for cheapest cameras you know it's you know, we have to boost this community together. It's only one way. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll remember it is a very passionate community. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what was, what was each of yours first experience into, um, virtual reality? Like, you, I mean, did you just happen to stumble on it or was it, you worked for the company and one day you came into work and they said, guess what we're doing today? We're now VR. Uh, mm -hmm. Katya, okay. you, you, okay. you, should, you should say first. <laughs> Let's go. Well, my very first experience with VR was seven years ago when, um, so my husband, it was just, it was out there or like everybody was talking about VR. Uh, my husband got a computer and the very first headset, Oculus Rift, the very, very first one. I actually tried it a few days ago like a week ago and the quality was so bad i could not <laughs> use it and it's just i had headache after using it but back then seven years ago i remember watching this video with the dinosaurs walking at me and standing by the building looking down that was amazing it was some it was just so realistic i know i mean i understand right now that yeah that was poor quality and it was <laughs> not even that expensive uh, exciting but yeah that was my first experience and i loved it saber um uh, some games it was amazing so that was my first experience seven years ago the very 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 first headset available no, we, we've, really we've gone far right now like uh, <laughs> the new the new uh, oculus quest 2 is just amazing compared to the old one it's a huge difference in quality my first experience was kind of same, but it was PlayStation VR yeah. <laughs> and Resident Evil game. So it's fun, but right now the yeah, quality is you know so bad. But I hope the new PlayStation VR because it's for 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 myself it's kind of instant sale. There is the show Horizon and like okay, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> give me that headset I want to play because I, I kind of I'm a Sony boy and uh, yeah, it's definitely my next purchase, kind of big purchase. No, nope, definitely fair enough. That's awesome. And is there any, uh, I know you guys were referencing a little bit before that, you know, there's not loads of great content for, you know, video content currently. And that's why you're looking for more, more creators and everything like that. Uh, but for what's available now, do you guys have any favorite movies or videos that you would recommend? Um, my favorite, like my most favorite was uh, a video of um, the Everest. There is a video on Oculus TV where you can actually see the Everest uh, mountain from the air, from the helicopter. I think it's done by Air Pano. And um, you can even see people climbing up the mountain. I mean, it's so cool because mm -hmm. this is something I'm never going to do in my life. This is, <laughs> there is no way I'm going to the Everest. It's just, it's too dangerous. And 
it's just not on my bucket list, but it was so amazing to see what it looks like and the, the surroundings, the mountains, you really appreciate how beautiful they are. And uh, so I see why people really want to conquer and, you know, to conquer the mountain and just go up that mountain. The view is amazing. So in VR, you can experience it and it feels like you're right there. It's, it's truly amazing. It's one of my favorite videos. No, it's awesome. My favorite, I, I could say it's a Targo studio, though it's a, just general documentary, you know, Oculus TV. If you go, you're going to see this 9-11 movie, for example. Yeah, they, they kind of, I think they're the best in the market. And uh, we, we talked we talk with these guys and when we launch the premium, this that movie will be available in the, the OBR. So. Mm -hmm. No, it's a, it's a heavy experience too, the 9-11 one. Mm -hmm. It's not a... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, but, but you know, it it, it, it again. It was for me. It's a kind of main use case for VR. You know, because I I, I watch it. The uh, like, okay, guys. You know, oh, I just amazing. It, amazing. It's not not good word for nine eleven. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. Oh you know, no, no, no. I I, 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 totally, get to I totally get it. I think uh, as as crazy it might sound, I think VR might shine. You know, sometimes the most in those type of documentary experience too, where it's like experiences that it's tough for you to to wrap your brain around yeah. without actually experiencing not that this is actually being able to experience it by any means but it's a step closer than just reading or watching a, a normal flat screen documentary it's like wow the terror in that moment you know you get a uh, a little bit more of an understanding so yeah when you're saying amazing it's not like you're saying the the event's amazing but the the fact that you can get uh, immersed and educated and you know, really experience that side of things. It's like, wow, VR has limitless potential in this field. We yes. just need more, more of these experiences, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. As tragic as yes. something might be, but that's how, that's how people learn. And mm -hmm. it's like, if it's, I could see like war documentaries being big. Yeah. I already, VR. I already had thought of that when, when documentaries was being said, I'm like, Oh my God, this part is like the limitless. Yeah. It's like, that's a, and it's almost course, scary to the, the effect it could really have though, to give that, real life experience but. And, and of course people always love like the the, the rocket launches those are always classic the mm -hmm. space experiences <laughs> but it'll be cool when we get more actual you know full-blown movies you know i'll take movies crime mm -hmm. like yeah. true crime you know it doesn't matter i'm i'm pretty much down for anything that can be put out there i'm just anxious because it's like you want everything now and you don't want to wait and it's like I have to keep telling myself, well, you yeah, know, we're in the leather meta, helmet stage. Yeah. Leather helmet stage. That's all. Maybe by meta three or four, you know, as the technology. So as, as in, in your people's world, I mean, a new headset with more computing power just equates to better quality all around too. Doesn't. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Better headset I, means better quality. Yep. It's it just, True. yeah. Everybody we talk to has put the squeeze on what, power they're able to get from these headsets and it's like all right we've maxed out what we can really we can really squeeze in there until we get something a little stronger to work with well i think right now uh there are some cameras that can shoot up to 12k right kill or yes. 8k Correct. but for example there is no tv i think there is no flat tv that can play 8k videos so uh, I, no no 8k is possible but 12k i think no maybe yeah. some models but yeah so the technology is a little bit behind. We're still, it's the same with the headsets. So we do need a better quality headsets and hopefully we'll get there soon. So uh, on the production side, we are able to produce, but there is also the internet connection is kind of a little bit of an issue, I believe. So for example, if there is a video that's a uh, very high quality, but a user doesn't have a good internet connection, they cannot play the video because simply the internet is too slow so we are a little bit kind of still behind technologically but hopefully we'll get there some couple of years i believe and that's not even you know i don't i, I blame the internet more for that because i've had that experience even just watching you know not even really high high res videos or anything you get that lag drop mm -hmm. or something and then you get the pixelation or yeah. The worst case, you know, it stops or something. But that's just the mercy, I think, of two technologies trying to meld together when one one might be a little more powerful than the other or what it's asking it to do. But the fact it can even do it is still pretty friggin' amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like I don't care what stage we're at, it's like I'm 
I've been playing playing games my whole life and it's like I never thought we'd actually I wished we would but I didn't think in my lifetime we'd get to that level where the immersion is on that cusp of yeah we're so close oh it's it's disgusting it really is so it's it's interesting to it's also sad that people think that everybody who makes apps and games and all that are you know from these thousand people studios that have buckets of money to dump in the things that are so new and Mm -hmm. you know we're finding out that no these these groups are very very small and they're being pretty much taxed with working 24 7 to keep something you know functioning and so i'll as as a consumer i'll say hats off to you guys for probably burning at both ends and every employee's like obviously loving what they do and passionate about it or they wouldn't do it and that's the other thing we've discovered is everyone in vr is is passionate about it from the consumer end to the i'll say the content end since you guys are on that end of actually putting out these products yeah so is yeah, there any other yeah, is there true. any is there any other uh updates or, or big news for dovr that we can expect in the coming coming months yes we're rolling out uh, our premium um uh, on dovr uh, right now, if you if you go to DOVR website, you see, you can see that there is some content and um, it's more of a medium content. It's not a very good quality content, but we are planning to roll out our premium selection with premium videos and premium content creators um, in the coming months. So it's going to be available on DOVR and we're very excited about it. Thank because uh, we want to be able to offer these good experiences, amazing experiences to our users. This... Yeah, I, 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 I want to add a little bit. So we have a, right now we have a kind of YouTube style content. It's yeah. not kind of medium. It's just it's different because it's we want a... to do kind of, you know, collaboration between the Oculus TV and YouTube. Because, you know, if, if we're going to find some guy who who will be like... Uh, Mr. Beast, we want this guy in our community too. So we kind of, you know, try to be in the middle of these two communities. But yeah, the, with premium, the kind of, it's not high quality. It's like, a, it's a studio quality content is coming to our platform. Yeah. Well, some YouTube, some YouTube uh, creators are actually really, I think they're very passionate about uh, VR. They're not really well youtube is so old right now and it's really really difficult to get your content up in search results in youtube so we want to offer that opportunity to uh, vr creators on our platform if you're creating vr you can be on the first page we can also we also want to work with the creators and um, perhaps in the future we will be able to uh, ask them to create something exclusive just for DOVR. So for example, if it's a video, it's going to be, they, they can put a little bit more time into the creating the video, adding some uh, awesome features to the video and then um, show, showcasing the video, um, you know, in our premium section and on our first page. We're, we're currently redesigning the first page as well, the home page. I think we might DOVR. need to look but into a way fun. to... I would, I would love if we had the, the cameras. Yeah, to do I such think a we thing. might need to look in like, a way oh, to shoot shit, in VR kinda... a little bit. That'd be great <laughs> for a podcast. So, uh, so, where can people follow news for DOVR? You know, do you guys have social media, Discord? You know, anybody who's hearing this and they they go, yeah, I want to, I want to, I want to see this. I got to test this out. Yeah, where can they follow you guys for updates? Uh, Twitter, um, Facebook. We always uh, update. We have a Facebook group. DOVR uh, Facebook group, always all all the updates we always um, put them out in uh, on social media. They can always reach us by email. For example, if it's a if if you are a creator and you're looking into a partnership with us, uh, reach us at uh, creator at dovr.com and we'll get back to you. We'll definitely put that in the notes as well. Yeah, absolutely. We'll definitely Thank link the social so media. You know. Thank you guys. Uh, Thank I, you. I think this is. You know, big stuff coming the coming soon for VR. You know, you yeah, guys are exactly. building I mean, the foundation right now. Exactly. But it's like this: when things are ready, if you don't already have the foundation built, it's too late. So you guys are just right on the cusp. You know, you you got some some aggregated content there, but it, things are just on the point where it's going to get real interesting. So well, that's why I, I feel like we're we're actually behind the eight ball if we even wanted to. Yeah, I'm, sitting in our seats, I'm like, wow. Even if we did have cameras, I feel like, well, we'll wait to that party. Yeah, well, it's a good, it's, it's a good opportunity to jump in. 
yeah absolutely absolutely so anybody who's even if you're somebody who who maybe dabbled in it you know seven eight years ago things are different in 2022 so hopefully in the coming years we see some some really good vr con you know movie oh, content definitely. coming as long as um mm-hmm. as long as dovr is going to continue to push the the levels oh, up then, then yeah it's like and i, I don't want to use youtube but i'll say you know if, if one could be the youtube of vr before they they really try to which i don't think they even want to they don't need to um damn that i mean that says huge yeah that's why i'm thinking it's like anybody with any sense would be like oh i wish i had done youtube videos 20 years ago mm-hmm. it's like well yeah now's your opportunity to get down on something from the ground level and, and build it from there and build your audience and see what but it is kind of the future to me so awesome is there anything that uh that you you wanted to add before we wrap it up as well maybe any upcoming things you guys you know uh, th- you know any anything upcoming that we didn't get to talk about or or anything like that um i don't think so the, the premium yeah it's most kind of it's most the, 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 the huge yeah upcoming news but also guys if you if you can post it through the kind of comment section uh we always look into people who are passionate with vr you know and uh, if you guys want to join our team please send us your resume and uh, we definitely gonna look through it yeah we always look into people because we're yes, growing we're so fast for, yeah we're looking for uh unity developers we're looking for um employees uh, all the time so we're looking to employ people as well now dio's growing Someone and they need experience. they need good Good people, so good directors, good content creators. Yeah, and I say it, I keep yeah. saying it. That's if, freaking awesome. If you drop the one star because the DLA, DLA, and then you need you know, to go, go back, go, go take a look at it again because tragic, tragic. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. And as far as I see it, um, DOVR only has one way to go, but continually climbing. It's like yeah. it's just yeah. fine tuning and moving with the times. So awesome. Thank I'm you. Amazed. Thank you both for joining us. And I, I'm, very excited to see what the future has for VR, yeah. I can't wait for the VR premium videos. Yep. Cool. Thank, Thank you guys you so much. Thank Thanks you for having us.